So the crowns of rhubarb that we bought are now planted. And a little tip that we read on the information sheet we were given with them was that you sprinkle the um, leaves, especially when you've harvested the rhubarb, you sprinkle the leaves that are left over around the rhubarb and it stops mould and rot setting in. So we've done that anyway, just while they're beginning to take root in the garden. But then, inside, something's occurring. So what's occurring? Well, we got the rhubarb yesterday, so we're going to try some rhubarb sponge and custard. Rhubarb and custard sponge cake. So, traditional Victoria sponge, four flour, four ounces of lard, four... Uh, Margarine, four ounces of sugar, two eggs. Have we got any? We've got one or two. Ooh, I think we've got eggs. Peter, we can't do mail order eggs. So, you'll have seen that we saw Karen Wright yesterday from the Great British Bake Off, and she made the scones that you saw in the video and she added custard powder to them to make the rhubarb custard so we're trying that with the sponge cake make it nice and yellow she cut the rhubarb like this didn't she she did Slivers more or less, isn't yeah. it? Is that enough, do you think? How well, how rhubarby do we want it? Well, we like our rhubarb, don't we? We've got plenty. We've got plenty, of plenty it. so So this isn't stewed or anything, is it? It's just, no, it fresh. just goes in fresh raw. It might work, it might not. It seems to work on the scones, doesn't it? No, it is. Oh, it should be on the cake. The cake yeah. will bake for longer than the scones, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I think I might add a bit more. Oh, it is actually. I always add a drop of milk. As I say, I always add a, just a splash of milk to my sponges. I don't know if it's meant to or not. And into the tin. Might be a bit sloppier than normal, but, but, but uh, I think it'll thicken up with the custard powder anyway. So we'll see. What are you cooking it on? Huh? What are you cooking it on? Gas. Yes. Number? No idea. 
Probably about a number four, three or four. For how long? Till it's done. Hmm. Let's see. So it's just come out of the oven. Skewered. Nice and clean. Next thing to do is drizzle a little bit of stewed rhubarb on it. Put in a bit of the rhubarb on it. Nice colour. Don't know how much to put on. It's not. What do you think? Yeah. Enough. A little bit more. That's that should do it. Just. And as it cools, it'll. Uh... I don't know. Set a little bit. Yeah. I didn't know whether to put this in while it's cooking. And then you see some fruit cake, uh, sponge cakes with the fruit sort of sunk into the top. But I don't know. It's all an experiment. It is. So there's the finished article. Looking very nice. It is. Well, you baked it. You can do the honours. Nice and moist. Mm. I think there might be something missing. What? Cream. A bit a clot of cream with it. It's a bit heavy, to be fair. Is it? Yeah. Well we'll see. Just a bit heavy, but not too bad for a first attempt. 